Hey, it's Smoke Monster, and I have some pretty cool news for fans of the OSSC, including myself. Uh, today, Marks announced the OSSC Pro, which is the uh, spiritual successor to the OSSC. Uh, he's planning to basically improve every aspect of the original, and he's adding in a whole bunch of new features. And uh, the OSSC Pro is going to be built around the Altera Cyclone 5. Uh, FPGA, which is the same series that's used in the uh, analog products and in Mister, although they are all using different models of that same Cyclone 5, but uh, he's picked a pretty beefy one, and uh, it's going to allow things like my the most interesting feature to me is rotation. Uh, normally, if you're going to rotate the screen, you have to have a big frame buffer, and there's really no way to do it uh, directly off like arcade boards and things, so. For uh, vertically rotated games like Ketsui and Dodonpachi Daiojo and Esp Galuda, which is what I have on the screen here, they play uh, rotated. And if you want to play these like on your big HDTV, really the only solution thus far has been to rotate your TV or uh, hold your head on the side, and that's not very comfortable for uh, long periods of play. But uh, the OSSC Pro is going to have a rotation feature, which is just going to be really cool. You know. Rotating a TV is always going to be the best way to play these games, but if you have like a 75-inch TV that's pretty much, you know, stationary, it doesn't really allow you to rotate it, so this is going to be perfect for that. And uh, for lots of other games, too, on consoles, there are lots of uh, tate mode or rotated screen games, uh, lots of shoot 'em ups like that, and classic arcade games, so that's the biggest feature to me. But then it adds lots of other features, too, that are pretty cool. Like, um, because it has a Cyclone 5, it has all this DDRM on board and some extra uh, RAM. Uh, it's going to have a game port support so that you could uh, run FPGA games on it. So you're th that's obviously targeting some Mr. Cores possibly getting ported to this thing. Um, it has a pure line multiplier, so it's going to be doing things, and an adaptive line multi multiplier. So it's going to be doing the things that uh, people kind of are nitpicking over the OSSC, and uh, a lot of people are using their Frame Meister to do this kind of stuff. Uh, so that's going to, a lot of that's going to come over to the Pro. We'll still have to wait and see how it does it, but I'm just guessing that it's going to do it really well. I actually at, uh, met Marks in November at RetroCreate, which was kind of a meetup that RetroRGB hosted for like uh, high-level creators and lots of people from the uh, classic gaming scene. Uh, Marks was there. I actually sat between him and Mike Chi at dinner and got to overhear their really interesting uh, conversation about uh, the subtleties of video chips and which which ones they prefer and things like that. So it was really cool. They're really good friends, if you guys didn't know. Uh, Mike Chi makes the retro tinks. And uh, so I did ask Marks when I was there what he's working on, and he kind of said, well, he has something really big in the works for a long time now, but he's not going to give out any details on it. And so obviously now that's probably the, I'm just guessing that's what the Pro was. So this thing's been in development for a while now, and it's about time to get a nice big upgrade to the uh, OSSC because it is starting to become a little dated. And it's an open source product uh, project and um, everybody loves it. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be pretty cool. And for those of you who can't wait for the finished project, uh, it gets even better. He is going to be making or offering uh, designs for add-on PCBs that you could plug into a DE10 Nano, which is what a lot of us have on hand for our misters. That's what the whole mister system is built around the uh, Terrasic DE10 Nano. Uh, to basically uh, make like, I don't know, an OSSC Pro Lite or something. He's, um, you know, the final product is going to be uh, complete, but um, it, it has like integration features with these dev kits like the DE10 Nano that could uh, be pretty cool. So who knows what that's going to, what he's planning with that. But it sounds like the people who do have DE10s, uh, tinkerers and do-it-yourselfers are going to have first access to this thing uh, before the actual uh, Pro is made and shipping. So that's pretty cool. I mean, hold on to your OSSCs. I know as soon as like the SD2 SNES Pro was announced, everybody got, well not everybody, a, a small minority got really mad because they had an SD2 SNES and now the Pro makes it irrelevant. Well, I did a few videos on that. And I myself, I still just have an SD2 SNES. I haven't got the Pro yet, even though uh, I'm usually at the bleeding edge of things. I just haven't got around to placing an order lately for flashcards. So when I do that, I'll get one. And uh, the same thing with the OSSC Pro. You know, the OSSC is gonna continue to function forever. It's gonna continue to be supported. It's an open source project. So don't feel bad if you have one of these. If anything, you know, this is, 
uh, just like the icing on the cake for you because everybody loves the OSSC and now we have an upgrade to it coming. But uh, for those of us who love the OSSC, this is great news and uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated here. I did write a big article on this for RetroRGB.com and I linked to the original release thread over at Shmup's forum where you can read more on this. So it's pretty cool. Great time to be into classic gaming. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.